Thank you. Now, is it possible to create a completely new brand within a large organization, even though the new brand is competing with the organization you're coming from? That is kind of the key question for this presentation. One year ago, we got this challenge from the board of directors in uh, Sparbank Invest, build a new national digital bank in one year. Uh, and I'm happy to report that we are there now. We have around 350 beta users. We have granted 100 million in housing loans. And we are set to launch in the market coming end of October. So that is the status right now. But I, I want to share with you some of the key learnings that we um, had on the journey so far. From the starting point, we had like three alternatives. We could go national with the uh, Sparbank Invest brand, but Sparbank Invest is tightly connected to the western region of Norway, where there are offices, advisors. Um, so it was not suited to go national with the brand as it is. The second alternative would be to go out of the bank and start a completely new bank outside of Sparbank Invest. But I think we would have kind of used the whole year in just getting the licenses, the investors, the funding, the systems, everything up and running. So that was not a good alternative either. So what we ended up doing was to establish a completely new brand, quite different from Sparbank Invest, that is called Builder Bank, that is mobile only. Uh, and we are about 15 people in an autonomous unit where we have people working with marketing, product development, UX, and IT development. So that is kind of the, uh, the setup. Now, you might think that this is kind of the easy way out. Let the old bank do the boring stuff with the systems and all that, and we can do the, the, the fun stuff. But let me tell you, this is kind of the uh, sound of a large organization that can get new tasks on their list, because we are not removing anything from the list of the people already working there. We are adding to their list. And uh, typically, we got feedback on, we don't have people to do this, the, the deadline is uh, crazy, the backlog is too long, the core systems are old-fashioned, and so forth and so on. And this is, has nothing, nothing to do with Sparbank and Vest particularly. I think this is the sound of every big organization that gets uh, projects like this. So I want to share with you some of the key findings and how to deal with this kind of uh, resistance. And the first has to do with the people you find for the initial uh, team. Uh, and I strongly advise you to look for these guys if you're planning something uh, similar. Uh, the hipster is the guy that always looks for the good design. He's looking for the user experience the value proposition that is going to win the customers over to you. He's not always so realistic, so you have to have a good coder. Um, the hacker is the coder that is doing things uh, maybe a bit untraditional, just thinking outside of the box. He is the coder guy that says yes. A lot of corporate coders says, no, we have this IT architecture. We cannot do it this way. But this is the guy that says yes. So it's nothing illegal. It's just a mindset that you have to find uh, how, uh, how to do it. And the last guy, the hustler, he is the guy that is always talking about the revenue streams, uh, how to strike the good deals, how to uh, play the political game in the organization, and so forth and so on. So with these people on board, you are well off. Next is the anchorage in the top management. This is very important. We are quite lucky because the um, CEO has been promoting this project from the start. And why is this important? Because you get priority in the organization. We have a lot of technical deliveries from Sparbank Invest, and we need priority. That's why that's important. We also have around 700 colleagues in Sparbank Invest, and we underestimated the value of involving these colleagues in the beginning. And we tried all kinds of things to rectify this. But uh, the single most kind of effective way of getting things on track, get from skepticism to enthusiasm, was to have an open house with free beers and snacks every Thursday from 3 to 4. 
where everybody that wanted to could come to us and talk about the project, what we were doing, uh, the design, the UX, everything. So then it turned from uh, skepticism to enthusiasm in a way. So, so far I've been talking about the, how to deal with people in a large organization if you want to realize something like that. So let's talk, talk a bit about uh, strategy. Because the issue is that uh, in Sparbank Invest is a large financial institution and we can pick and choose from all the products and Sparbank Invest is used to having customers from they are born until they die. So that is kind of the range that we are working in. But we think to realize something like this, we are taking the opposite direction. We are narrowing it down as much as we can. So we are mobile only. We do, we, we do not want to have support on 15-year-old PCs with Windows 98. That is not the issue. And we are not scared of losing the customers who don't like this approach. Because we truly believe that building something like this on mobile only will raise the quality and the probability of success in the market if we do it like this. When it comes to business model, we have used a, um, um, a principle that is described in a book that's called From Good to Great. Some of you might know it, written by Jim Collins. Uh, and the starting point is that uh, some research, re research that shows that a business that has this one thing that it's really good at will probably suc uh, succeed more in the market in, if you're scattering your, all over the place. And the hedgehog here, he has one big thing. It can roll together like a ball to defend itself from predators. That is kind of the big thing. And that is what we're looking for. And to find that one big thing, you have to kind of answer these three questions. What can you do best? What can you, can you do better than anybody else in the market? Uh, and for Sparbank Invest, if you go to Google Play or App Store and look at the user re reviews on the mobile bank there, you will find that the Sparbank Invest already have the, uh, the best mobile bank in Norway, actually, if you make an average of that. So we are already capable of making really good mobile user experience. And, uh, so that is kind of a good starting point. And also, that happens to be what we are really passionate about in Bilderbank. And we have also hired people that are really passionate about building good mobile experiences. But what is driving our economic engine is the housing loans, because the speciality in Sparbank Invest is to get good uh, funding for um, housing loans. And that is what we are starting out with. So then we can make kind of the big, hairy goal in the middle there. And that is kind of our most important issue. So we went out, like you, we always do, and we talked to a lot of potential customers. We had focus groups, we had surveys, and so forth and so on. And it was a bit disappointing. Because banking has gone from extremely boring to not so much boring for customers. That's the case. So we just have to realize that that is the case. I hate bargaining with my bank. Banking is boring. And especially housing loans seems to be quite boring for, for the customers. Just the way it is. But this feedback was, is ex extremely important, and that is the trust that we always talk about when it comes to banks. Uh, customers really trust the banks, except when it comes to interest rates on their housing loans. And this we can do something with, since we are a new, uh, new uh, competitor in the market. So we have developed a value proposition, the only bank in Norway, that are automatically reducing the interest rate on the housing loan, if the value of your home goes up or you pay down on your mortgage. The only bank in Norway that are doing this. We also promise to always be on the top list in terms of price. And yeah, that's what we're going to try out and we got very good feedback on it so far. We also know that when it comes to banking, housing loan, yes, that's good, but you get it there and you kind of forget it. Uh, so the second biggest thing we are working on is, of course, the app for the day-to-day -day banking. And if I had two hours, I can tell you a lot of ideas we have with this uh, bank, or with, with, with this app. But I think I will just show you a small clip that can kind of sh 
envision what we are thinking when it comes to the app and the, the bank. And here it goes. Yay! So as you can see, quite ambitious. So for the initial question, is it possible to create a new brand within a large organization? I would say yes, it is. If you find the right people, get into the heart of the CEO, buy some free beers and snacks, and get a very tight and narrow strategy, then it's okay. Thank you for listening. <laughs>